And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Simic Turbo Fog. This is our next deck. It's not really a traditional Turbo Fog deck. It's more like a, a ramp fog, um, but that kind of sounds weird, like fog ramp. You know, like that just kind of sounds weird. So we're just going to call it Turbo Fog. Um, the this deck it was kind of it's built with with how to make a deck with a win condition of Thassa's Oracle and Jace, Wielder of Mysteries, trying to mill ourselves out. There's a lot of ways to do that. Um, I kind of went with with a way of just a, a strong ramp shell of being just a good deck that could, that that has that in its back pocket that's, uh, you know, can win by milling itself out instead of just focusing on um, a more fragile deck that is, you know, re you know relying on that but is... Um, easy to out aggro and um and can fall apart kind of thing so uh all right so yeah the fog of our deck is root snare so root snare prevents all combat damage that we dealt this turn so we can just get some extra turns with that the point of our deck though is to is really where we want to ramp that's really the point of our deck we want to get a lot of lands in play uh, we use grow spiral to play an extra land we use dryad um, to be able to play multiple lands a turn and since we can play multiple lands a turn we want to we need to draw lots of cards also because we want to try to get through our decks we need to draw lots of cards so if we're just like getting a lot of lands in play with with those and then we draw lots of cards with gadwick and height and hydro crisis in which and you know jace can draw extra cards each turn but, you know we draw lots of cards with those and then with those cards we get a lot more lands we get to play a lot more lands which means that our gadwicks and crasises are even bigger and so we're just trying to you know chain crasis and gadwick over you know like these seven copies and just keep chaining them and draw more and more and more cards and then you know eventually each time each time keep uh two mana open for root snare to cast a root snare to prevent the damage that they're going to deal with uh, to us and then draw more cards and um and so on so th that's kind of like the goal of our deck a um, couple other things we got omen of the sea in here to kind of help set stuff up that also counts towards blue devotion because you know we we need to we need our blue devotion count to be high for thassa's oracle so i got omen of the sea and then also nadir kraken helps with the blue devotion count also and just plays really good defense you know like if we're especially if we got like extra mana on our turns we can just use our one mana on the kraken make a one one for defense and also grow the kraken and everything i've been really impressed with the kraken so you know we can just use that for extra defense also you know like we're, so we're a most you know like we're a pretty heavy blue deck that's kind of more like splashing green um but you know we need lots of blue mana symbols and and uh yeah then try to you know eventually draw draw a lot of cards and then use thassa's oracle um with a lot of blue mana symbols and hopefully win that way so <clears throat> that's what we're trying to do um yeah golos would work just fine in this deck uh you know, didn't really have room for it, but yeah, Golos, Golos would work. Um, you know, it could play like a Golos over a Kraken, I guess, because um, yeah, it does work with Dryad. Um. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got beat by one of these before with somebody using Nexus of Fate. Yeah, thankfully Nexus of Fate's not in standard anymore. But yeah, that card, that card is ridiculous. Um, yes, there are there are some ways to prevent the fog effects from happening. You know, Questing Beast is rough if you're trying to root snare same with bone crusher giant like the stomp part but at least questing beast like we do have the gadwick for defense also because you, you know if you have gadwick in play that's why i wanted to have omen of the sea which is flash and then grow spiral also an instant we need some blue instants so we got seven blue instants that we can play with gadwick in play to tap down their questing beast and then try to fog um so i don't know i, I think this deck is probably better in best of one honestly i'm not really that uh, thrilled about my sideboard. I think this is pr maybe a better best of one deck, but we're going to play it in best of three here. And let's see how it goes. Folio of fancies that, um, that could be, could be okay. But the, the thing about folio of fancies is you don't, like, Folio Fancies mills over the opponent. You don't mill over yourself. And this deck, we want to mill over ourselves. So that's kind of the problem. Uh, 
Fa right, I got an idea. Faber, Elder plus Dryad plus Nyx Bloom Ancient. I mean, just Dryad and Nyx Bloom Ancient. I mean, just Nyx Bloom Ancient is just a, is just absurd. <laughs> you have that thing in play. You don't really need more things. Am I feeling? I'm feeling better. I'm definitely feeling better. I'm not not 100, percent but I'm getting there. Hmm. Um, um, Yeah, it's, this is going to be kind of a tough one to win. That should mean they have a lot of good interaction. And now they get to just make millions of creatures. This is going to be difficult. So I'm, oh, I want to mill myself with this deck. The only reason why I milled them is because they scryed at the top. So since they scryed at the top, they had something that they really liked, and so that's why I did that. But oh, Teferi is a huge problem, isn't it? Now we can't root snare with Teferi in play. Hmm. That's more like it. Um, yeah, Oslin, because you have, you have the tier 3 sub, just, uh, just send me a whisper on here. Um, you can just click on my name there and, and click the whisper button. This. All right, admittedly, we're in a pretty bad spot. We're in a pretty bad spot. I didn't really consider Teferi too much. Don't really have a good answer to Teferi. I'm playing Krasis because Krasis can fly over these and kill Teferi. I've got it. But it's gonna be pretty tough to beat turn two hero, turn three hero, honestly. And then turn four Teferi, yeah, like that's ugh, that is just the the worst. Oh, you don't like the yellow owl? Yeah, I'm surprised in like the, you know, there's the menu that you get to uh, choose your pet. You, you don't get to choose your pet color. <laughs> Welcome to my domain, Plains Walker.
That could maybe use like one or two mass manipulations. Because you know, like we are ramping a lot. I didn't go that route. But that could just be wrong. Teferi is not in 80% of decks right now. That is nowhere near correct. Yeah, I, I don't know if I finished my thought, but I, I was going to say that I'm surprised that you can't... Um, in the in just like the uh, menu, that you can't just be like, all right, I want, I want my pet to be this color. So I think I want to have Hydra try to have Hydra kill the hero. Not play Root Snare in this matchup. This song is The Head and the Heart is the band and all we ever knew is the name of the song. Can I fit in more disputes somewhere? It's probably an omen of the sea And an Uro. This is kind of a tough able passage because if I get Island. If I get blue, maybe we don't find green. I think I'm supposed to get green because I have a lot more blue mana. As you can tell, I have a lot more blue than I have green. I think I'm supposed to grab green right now. Cool. Rewarded. Kraken. All right, crazy sport. Have a good night. Boo. All right, this guy to the top again. We're going to mill it over. Are they yours? Let's try this. <laughs> out the door, crazy support, gifting 10 subs out. 
Y'all get some hype in the chat. Gets us to 22 on the day. So welcome to the 10 new subs. We got Golden Guy, Mr. Himba, Moxie, Iced, Peeps Champ, De Prime, or X Prime, Brass Hound. That's a good turn to Spark and Thought Razor. Um, Dr. G Lord, Blue Fire, and the real Taddy. That was a great turn for them. Thought Razor, Gadwick, to Spark, Jace. That was a great turn. <laughs> Thanks, crazy support. Yes, Jace. Um, I maybe I should just grab another island, I guess. So I don't really need this. I want to keep it there to mill over. Sure. I like that we can counter an Ashiok right now. <laughs> yeah, that was some crazy support right there. Um... I think I'll just keep the counter spells up. Just keep this going. Draw some extra cards. Swaza! Thanks, Swaza. So, eight mana. <clears throat> so we'll have dispute for blue spells. We're at 31 cards in library. A little ways from Thassa's Oracle winning it. Yeah, yeah. Um, I th think I'll be doing... Uh, um, so I have to use both my Mystical Disputes? Voracious Hydra does kill that thing. Yes, donation deck I am open for tomorrow. Um, I'm going to try to fit in all the decks today. I may be doing Golgari enchantments before team or ramp. It seemed like people wanted to see Golgari enchantments. Oh yeah, these can tap for any color now.
<laughs> Alright, yeah. Y'all want Golgari first? Golgari is the new deck. So I'm at 28 in library right now. This. I wish I would have minus seven the Jace. Well, we'll minus seven next turn. Um, I think I may be behind one. Yeah, with Saza, I'm behind one on the gift sub. So we're at 24 for the sub goal. <clears throat> Alright, draw seven cards. Play some lands, play land, play land. We're at 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We're kind of getting there. Play a land. How much mana do I got? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This costs one, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I can play all of these things. So if I do that, we're at 14, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So theoretically, we should win if I play all of these. That would be, they, they have to. Ha that would be them having no interaction whatsoever. That's pretty unlikely. So I think we just try to win next turn. I think we're just going to play like this thing. And... Call it a day. Card two cards. Gonna keep up both mystical disputes. Fourteen. So I could I could have won this turn. Like if my opponent was empty handed, I could have just gone for the win with Thassa's Oracle. I'm gonna try to set it up. Um with a little bit more protection. Tap, because if we tap them out, now we know we're going to win. All right, GG's. There's nothing they can do with the plus or the minus. The of the dead. Need one magic mirror in here. So we're gonna play this thing. We'll just draw a card. So we're at twelve. How you play the hand you That's Oracle. Choose one. Choose the Thassa's Oracle. And then they lose. Because <clears throat> Thassa's Oracle looked at the top 11 cards and we had nine in the, in the uh, library. So we won. All right. 
Our, de our deck did what it's supposed to do. Hey, what's up, Adirio? Oh, good, Matthew. Good, good. Glad that the surgery went well. Glad to hear. Um, all right, let's get started. All right, so we're gonna switch these two. Oh yeah, I, I probably could have been attacking and kill them by attacking, but I don't want to kill them by attacking. I want to kill them with Thassa's Oracle. Wow. Okay, here here's Thassa's Oracle. I'll, oh, it's not showing, helping you out there, but yeah. So you look at the top X cards of your library, where X is your devotion to blue. And you put up to one of them on top of your library. But if X is greater than or equal to the number of cards in your library, you win the game. Naveen. What's up? Brand new Twitch Prime sub. Thanks, Naveen. Um, I guess maybe I should not have... Alright, I should not have cast that there. My plan... Well, what happened to... My arena sub-goal. What happened to it? The sub-goal. It's, like, gone. Ah. Too big. Still too big. Okay, that works. Seriously? Right, all of our lands tap for anything with the Dryad. That was kind of tricky. I should have kept the forest up. But then it was, it was kind of too late when I realized that. Oh no! More Hydras. I 
They have to block. Our aggressive Turbo Fog deck. Sideboard coming in clutch with those Voracious Hydras, finishing the game out. The opponent stumbling. And we're 1-0. Yeah, I know. I always forget that too, the Dryad. I forgot it there. Uh, yes, Aduriel, somebody did give me a pre-release code for the six boosters. Thank you. But yeah, so I got one of those. Sorry, I missed, it. missed that. Car chaser. Sad, that's a great card. We have to try to get rid of this Narset. Um, Kraken or Dryad? Hey, what's up, boot? a good deck to climb with. I mean, basically anything. <laughs> it's a good part about Magic, especially this this point. There's not really necessarily like decks that are super good, decks that aren't good. It's just, you know, like we're, everybody's just kind of playing everything right now. So like whatever you're comfortable with. What's up, Guava? Uh, our 25th sub of the day. Oh, 26. I'm behind. I don't like my chances anymore. Now they have an Ashiox Erasure also. I don't really like my chances here. So many of my cards are just things that say draw a card. Jake Gomez, 10 months already. That's awesome. Uh, resubs today. Like a little bit. <laughs> a little bit smaller. There we go. Welcome to my domain. That looks a little better. Lanes Walker. Go to the left a little bit. Okay, that looks better. My kin are delightfully friendly. Let 
us see if your talents are worth cataloging. Hmm. I know I noted this somewhere. None of these are very good. Could have said like any of those. Basically, I just said Gadwick because I have four Gadwicks and I have, you know, like three of all these cards. I wanted something to try to block that 2 3. I know Gadwick doesn't draw multiple cards, it was just something that I had four of. And if I minus Tamiyo, then they, they bounce whatever I, you know, if I minus Tamiyo to grab like Kraken and play Kraken, then they bounce Kraken and then attack and kill Tamiyo, so that's why I ticked up. Yeah, this, this should definitely be a good sideboard matchup for us, of course. That's just a killer. All right, so disputes and negates. You know, we don't have to play these root, root snares. Um, I probably want to keep one Uro. Uro. Not sure what I want to do here, like for the last card to take out. Could be Dryad. That's Oracle. <clears throat> It's Oracle. With Oracle just being a 1 3, I think we gotta take it out. Um, okay, so I won't be playing Oracle on turn 2, because I'm gonna go get a green, just get a green source so I can play like Kraken on 3. Not sure if I even want to play Kraken on three, because I guess they could play Narset. But if they play Narset. If they play Narset, we kill Narset. Go, freaking go. Yep, th yep, this is just like last matchup where we where we need to be proactive and aggressive. Yep, absolutely. Don't really want... Um, I mean, I guess I could take a Krasis. I don't know why I would say no to a Krasis against the control deck. Okay. Got Kraken in play with 
Counter magic to protect it. Pretty good spot to be. They just didn't attack with Borrower. What else are they doing with Borrower? It's not blocking. It's either play Oracle or Crack Omen. I guess we just play the Oracle. Because I want I want a sixth mana to be able to play Krasis a four four Krasis. Mountain Wind Cat nine awesome months. No, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, okay, like in the new Yara Citadel, cool. Um, I'm not, yeah, I haven't, I haven't really had too much ability to, to think about it a ton, honestly. Um, so I'm not sure about, like, upgrades for it. Right now, I'm, I'm sure there are upgrades for it. Eco Logico. Or maybe Echo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exile two cards. I'm fine with that. They're letting the Ashiok die. Interesting. Sub number 29 on the day. We're one away from another sub goal. So yeah, I mean, I'll put it on top. I mean, how... What? Like, how is this a bad thing for me to just to keep recasting X equals four Hydra Crisis? attack. We'll throw a tentacle out there. Uh, the current song, this is L Luis the Child and K-Flay. It's strange. Yeah, after I put it on top, yeah, they could have attacked with the 2-3 to exile it. That's true. It's been going pretty good. Yep. Everything's everything's going just fine. All right, yeah, sure. You you got that. Okay. No, uh, no, we we had Uro in the team of Ram deck also. Uro is pretty good. It's a good card. It's not. 
it's not like a it's not like something that I've been wanting like four of because like once you have one then a second copy isn't isn't doing a whole lot for you but I'm I'm happy with it yeah Kraken could be good in a Simic flash deck you you protect him and then go big yeah I could see that um you know maybe like a yeah I mean that I mean it helps your aggro match up quite a bit which Simic flash you know can can really struggle against aggro it could be like a sideboard thing against aggro <laughs> yeah this is this is definitely a weird turbo fog take uh we boarded like we're playing against control again so we boarded out our fogs um but basically the, the deck's just trying to ramp draw lots of cards and win with bass's oracle and jace and you just draw all your cards um and you know we have some fogs to help keep us alive and everything but we're playing against control decks we have to turn into an aggressive deck and and yeah so we re sideboarded Do I want to play Kraken or Dryad? Let's go Dryad. Kefnet. Let's just keep that. Wow, where are the lands at? Seriously? I have 27 lands in here. It's not like I'm not not playing a lot of lands. <laughs> Where are the lands at? one that's why I'm not cracking the fable passage because I want to draw more lands yeah so this deck fog is um, uh, Root Snare. That was a perfect turn. Not a perfect turn for me. That's for sure. I'm sorry, Vitellius. Yeah, that's weird. Is 
You sent donation decks before, right, Vitalius? lands. Yeah. Huh, that's weird. <clears throat> well. So if, if I go Uro, then I'm not, then I go to like what? I'm not dead. No matter what. I can go like Uro and Kraken. We go Hydroid Krasis for four, but then if they have removal spell for Krasis, I die. But it's my best situation of being able to block the borrower. Um Yeah, that's why that's why I'm not dead if I play Uro because because it's the three life it cancels out the bar where I but, but I'm going to one. I'm just gonna do Krasis for two. And then have negate available. Whopper Stopper gifted out a sub. Thank you so much, Whopper Stopper. And so, Philonius, welcome to the stream. That's our 30th sub of the day. That's three sub goals towards another 12 hour stream. Wow. I already owe y'all one 12 hour stream, and we are working our way towards the second one fast. Um. Darn. I, feel, I felt like if I put the intervention and the land, obviously I couldn't, I need them to not take the tyrant score, and so I'd have the tyrant score and face down. I feel, feel like if I put the other two face up, then it was too obvious that, that like, that's like too much to give. And so then you obviously just take the other one. No, but, but I mean, good hand, you know, it's, I just had the turn four Kefnet that, that just, you know, eventually got me. I didn't have enough time. I needed those fogs. It does kind of seem like our 27 land deck isn't having enough lands. Oh, they saw one card with a scry? I don't know. Yeah, so I don't know what card they saw with the scry. And so, yeah, if they saw a card with the scry, then, yeah, they, they probably just... They may have saw the 
the Tyrant Scorn, and then we're just automatically taking the Tyrant Scorn. I don't know. I need lands. <clears throat> there we go. Now I need lands. You aren't land. You aren't land. Why is it so difficult to find lands if we're playing 27? Ugh. Four lands, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve spells and four lands. There we go. Now we're getting there. It's always an answer. No. Beautiful lands. Come back. Try Bant Ramp with Hushbringer and Uro. Yeah, it does remove the ETB clause. It does that. I mean, I'm over here complaining about lands, but I guess my opponent could and or should be complaining about lands as well. I have seven in play, and I'm complaining about that. I can't find them. <laughs> I guess that's kind of silly. While well, they're over there moving to discard. Uh, first world problems over here. Hey, Candice. So the library's at 32. And that's where the lands are. Yep, every time. <laughs> Jace finds the lands. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So six. Oh, right, the castle. That's fine. Go spiral. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Lands are somewhere. All right, so we'll discard Kraken. 
I'll discard. Pretty sure I don't need Root Snare by now. And... Uh... Crisis. <clears throat> Alright, so we're down to 23 cards. <laughs> I know the photo only has three lands, but we've gone through, like, you know, an extra 22 cards than they have right now. Well, and I've scried five to the bottom, so uh, we, we know basically everything. All right, so 22. Let's go minus eight, draw seven. Hmm. Maybe not yet. We'll do that next turn. It's a matter of give and take. I can't draw with Gadwick. If I keep three up, we'll have one, two, three, four. Or my lands, Gadwick. Just one land. That's I'm pretty close. The Oracle killing them. I guess I don't need to play another Dryad, which was my plan, because I was going to, you know, draw more lands. Well, that didn't happen. Nah. Wait, no. I can keep y'all. We'll get rid of a Dryad, a Dryad, a Grow Spiral. Alright, we're at 14. Alright, should have Thassa Oracle win next turn. <laughs> Imagine having so many cards you discard graces. Yeah, it's a tough it's a tough life discarding graces. All right. Kraken. Tap. Break in. Tap. And Thassa's Oracle. You win the game. Tap. Our Devotion to Blue is 16. We have 13 cards in our library. We just keep one of them on top, and they lose the game. <laughs> yeah, two decks trying to win by playing creatures and not attacking. So I think I want Voracious Hydra. I don't think I want Root Snare, and I want a Return to Nature to blow up Witch's Oven. Maybe another Return to Nature and one less Kraken. Maybe another less Kraken. We probably don't really need Kraken since they're not doing too much attacking. <laughs> the six cards you didn't scry to the bottom were the uh, non-land, or like all the lands. So yeah, our, our bottom six cards are all lands. Um, not seeing an option to renew. It you should maybe maybe go through go through there. Anybody anybody know how to do the Twitch Prime sub stuff that wanna can help Metavari? <clears throat> yeah, basically we're we're trying to get rid of the cards in our library and win the game with either Thassa's Oracle or Jace. All right, Storm, see you tomorrow.
I was thinking, and there isn't any card that has an upside for yourself exiling your own cards, right? I'm not sure if there is one in standard. I don't know if there's anything that lets you play stuff from ex exile. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Kaya? But it, Kaya counts like your opponent's exile, though, right? Hey, Matthew, welcome home. Glad the surgery went well today. All right, so we're gross spiraling, profiling. Um, I probably shouldn't put that to the bottom and then start complaining about lands. That's totally something I would never do. Uro. Uh-oh. Hmm. If only I had, like, a... I don't know, like a return to nature or something like that to blow that up. Oh, I do. I wish I would have kept the other return to nature now instead of putting it down to the bottom and keeping this arrow. Oh no, my Jace! I just drew that Jace. I liked that Jace. How are we doing over here? We got three cards. Get him, Oracle. Boom. Mark it down. 18. Almost dead. Oh, yeah, there you go. Karn the Great Creator can, can get artifacts from exile. That's true. We're just gonna Gadwick draw for him. Because, you know, not sure if our top card is a land. If our top card was a land, just going Jace Uro would have been nice. Spiral, spiral, and which one of these would I not want to get back with? Tamio. I kind of want to have all of them. I, th I think I do want to keep this Return to Nature as an option. Um, we'll just get rid of the Jace. More lands in play. Thanks, Baloney Pony. It's good. Yeah, it's good to. It's good to be back and feeling better. Jace is basically draw three with Tamio. Let's think this 
basically. <clears throat> Alright, we'll shuffle. Get another land out. Do some more thinning. Alright, so our opponent's life total is down to 28. Um... I guess we just cast this thing for 10. I don't know. Maybe I should be casting, like, Dryad, Omen, Tamiyo first. Especially getting Dryad in play so I can play extra lands before I just draw a million cards. Yeah, gotta kill that. Okay, seven, nine. Ugh. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We got 14 mana. How do I want to use 14 mana? I guess we'll start with going like this. It's a matter of give and take. So they are at, or so I'm at, so 17. I don't really have like a ton of card draw. I don't think I can win this turn. I, don't know, I guess if I could win this turn, I guess it would start with this. Maybe if I would have kept the Kraken, I guess I should not have discarded the Kraken. Yeah, I mean, I do want more mana. We're at seven, hmm, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Right, this is going to get rid of a lot of cards. Um, I don't know. I don't really have anything left. Gadwick. Alright, whatever. So that gives me 12. Where we're at? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got this. We got this. Yeah, these are the secret layer sleeves. These sleeves are from the secret layer. Oh, I don't have any more land drops. We only need one oracle. We didn't even need to play the other oracle. And they die. Turbo Fog. I mean, this is really Ramp Fog, but Simic Ramp Fog just doesn't sound cool. Oh, I never, I never uploaded Demir Reanimator. I 
I needed to get the... Whoops. Need to get the thumbnail. Okay, now it should be uploaded. A little late there. Okay, let's get this thing in play. Alright, back to Twitch chat. Combo deck involving Breach and Oracle? What's, oh, like the, oh, the Red Breach? Underworld Breach? If we would, if we would have attacked with the 10-10, we would have won anyway. Uh, who knows? Maybe not. Get that safer way to win. I mean, I like, I do like lands, as y'all know, but we need to find... You show remorse. I'll show this. No! I am not making this up as I go. Need to find a big card draw spell. I mean, I guess I should just be playing Dryad, because I know the Kraken's getting bounced anyway. The Dryad would get bounced also, but I'd get just an extra land in play. Whoa! I should have just played this last turn. Sonar Loser gets in 10 subs also. Thank you so much there. We have Acid Loop, Wok Sushi, Telstar, GG Branch, Changa Lenga, Satire Sith, I'll protect you. Up and Adam, Mike the Mailman, Baguette Win, and Captain. All join in our hype armadas. So many boats. I'm getting too old for this. Well, our worst card against. <clears throat> Our worst card against um, Blue Eye Control is Root Snare, so it's a little unfortunate that we've found two of those. Kind of doing a test for counter spell here. Gad, you know, I, I obviously don't want Gadwick countered. But I mean, we just have two completely dead cards. It's going to make this really difficult to win. Honestly surprised that resolved. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't quite count the, uh, let's see, so let's, so that is our, um, eight, so we're at eight out of 20 sub goals now, I just updated, 
We're at 8 out of 20 sub goals towards the next 12 hour stream, and I haven't even done the, the previous one yet. Iceland, welcome. Our brand new sub, welcome, welcome. Okay, so let's tick up this thing. This is a time where it would have been better to draw Krasis instead of Gadwick. Because Gadwick's counterable, Krasis, you still get to draw the cards. Oh, that was sub 41. Speaking of crisis, there's crisis. Scratu, draw card. Scratu to the bottom. Draw card. Got a Gadwick. I can Gadwick as well. Don't want to go Dryad. Gadwick for five. I mean, obviously, I can just Gadwick for just a ton, but it's like, what are we... I mean, then they just bounce my... They just bounce my Gadwick. Get more lands in play. <laughs> I I cannot do a twenty four hour stream. No, I can't. I, like I just just physically, I'm not like that's that's too too difficult.
Brazen Barber should be able to finish this out. We're getting a good amount through our deck, though. If... You know, if we can find those Thassa's Oracles... Which I guess we milled over one... Nothing. I don't know. I mean, I, I need like a you know, I need I need to be able to root snare. Teferi is just messing this up. Uh, there's I only get one land drop now because the dryad was bounced. I think so in our loser. Hey for Lynn. Do one of these. Oh, I forgot I wanted to uh, root snare. Also, I should I should not have done that. That pay one. Should not have done that pay one. <clears throat> Doesn't really matter though. I mean it's just the the root snare has to resolve. I can't protect it or anything. But it has to resolve. But at least we got to this point of the game, like where we have like this chance. Like if they have no counter spells in hand. You never know. But if they have no counter spells in hand. It's possible we could win this. Thanks, Ferlin. Or Sonar Loser. Thank you, Sonar Loser, for, for gifting the sub to Ferlin there.
thing. All right, so root snare out, dispute, negate, and yeah, so we're doing like we did before. I kind of want to play Hydra. We saw like those three ones just messing us up. I kind of want to play Voracious Hydra. Yeah, sure, J-Jack. Well, um, so let's see. Can we fit? We have to cut one more card anyway. Which is probably the, probably an Oracle. Because we're just being a 1-3. Maybe we can fit in like one Hydra over a Dryad. And maybe one Hydra over a Kraken. Or over an Omen. No, maybe we just play the one Hydra. No, let's play another Hydra. Let's get, let's get a Hydra over Kraken or Omen. Omen. No, Kraken. Okay. Oh, thanks, Mystery Marks. Thank you so much. All right, good night, Sushi. Hey, Freddy. I'm starting to do better. Yeah, I'm starting to feel better after being sick earlier in the week. Not 100% yet, but I'm getting there. I'm also going to need to increase my streaming stamina, you know, kind of getting tired a little early. Spiral. Let's get more blue mana. Go spiral. Moment of the sea. I like both of those. Hmm. I'm worried about... Yeah, I don't care. I'm worried about Teferi. Kraken. For releasing a good Kraken. Just do some cracking stuff. And I'm hoping these two Krakens can finish the game quickly.
So that's just a draw two. I'm just going to let him have it. Ooh, that's a draw. All right, well, we got lethal next turn, and we got double negate. No. Really? Ouch. Ouch. Wow, talk about unexpected. No, oh, man. I was not expecting that. I got wrecked. Now if they have like Dream Trawler, I'm in a whole lot of trouble. I guess I should not have used the Dispute. I don't. I only had Dispute and Negate. Like those are my two cards. Oh, I shouldn't click resolve all because I have a counter spell. This is just a mess. Yeah, I tapped my mana to be able to play. It was just a mess of a turn to be able to play Uro twice. But I guess I wasn't. I mean, yeah, I was still going to be able to play it twice. It was just a mess of a turn. No, I couldn't pay the three, because the mana that I use with the castle is not, it, you can't pay for, you know, you can't pay for Mystical Dispute with castle mana, you can only pay, you can only cast creatures with castle mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, either guys just really, really blew that up pretty well. Because even if it's just a regular counter spell, I'll just let them counter it and then I just replay the Uro.
Probably should have exiled a little bit better. I got two absorbs out of their hand. Didn't let them gain life. It's pretty big. All right, they're playing deputy. Let's get our last voracious hydra in here also. I'm just gonna cut the Tamio. <laughs> Blue deck matches be like <laughs> typing one handed, already annoying, yeah. But your your hand's gonna be better now, that's with that surgery. Keep. I'm not Esper. We don't have to worry about like Thought Erasure on two. I think we're just safe to play the Breeding Pool. I could play Kraken right now, but I really have to be worried about about Teferi. Wow, that resolved fast. Do anything about that anyway. Um, I mean, I guess it's better to play Jace than to fairy the Jace than Kraken. Fairy's just gonna be really annoying. I'm just gonna start milling them. Oh, I mean, I've crack. Sure, you can say Kraken also. Kraken, Kraken, either either one works. Yeah, the point of the deck is to mill ourselves, but you know, you have to you have to adapt to your opponent as well. In a deck like Blue White Control, having less of a library is not something that they enjoy. Mm. 
This is all just an illusion. It's how you play the hand you're dealt. <clears throat> so by waiting a turn on Krasis, I just get to make it one bigger. Yeah, we're not all in on one to, way to win, that's true. I have a plan. Get to be... Get to kind of change stuff. I'm known for my excellent timing. No, I am not making this up as I go. Okay. Ugh. Gotta wear out this borrower now. My yeah, my opponent's playing Thassa's intervention. We we don't have any over here. I I honestly don't think Thassa's intervention is that great of a card. That's more like it. Oh, that's a good play if they have a wrath. Okay, now they're just gonna take. Okay, they're just gonna take both Krakens. Also a good play. Don't test me. Scry top. Darn. Darn, held over two lands. All right, so six. Um, like, you know, how big do we want to make this thing? Basically, it's just to draw three if I want to play Dryad also. Just do it for six. I may not get deputy Eden. Okay, so I could have Hydra kill the Brazen Borrower. Help protect Nissa. Well, why did I say Nissa? I'll protect Jace. I've got time. Thanks, Andrea. Sorry, I'm late. 
So yeah, so they bounce that deputy to deputy the other, you know, because then that Hydra dies. Now they get to deputy the Krasis. Um, oh yeah, this one doesn't die. Uh, double the 1-1 one -one counters. Cause this one's a no one. The Krasis will die. Gracious doesn't. I mean, well, saving. I mean, saving one blue mana doesn't matter because they have Teferi in play, and like they just replayed a new Teferi. Like, there's, I I can't do anything with the dispute. Ah, no one likes a bully. How you play the hand of yeah, get rid of those things. All right, we'll use Castle, and then if we need to, Omen of the Sea, do a bunch of scrying. Gross. Oh, they don't have the mana to, to replay to play Borrower now. They probably should have just played Borrower as a three-one to kill Jace. I've got it. Man, if it wasn't for Teferi. Alright, good, cool. Got a Gadwick out of here. I'd love to have Negate and Dispute available. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, very happy with how the videos did yesterday on YouTube. Hmm. Probably should not crack Fable Passage. Yeah, whenever you link your Twitch account to Discord channel for for Discord, um, it takes it'll take like an hour or so to sync up. So it doesn't it doesn't show up right away that they're synced. It'll take a little time. Almost every game that we've lost in this set has been because of Teferi Time Raveler. Might be a bad idea. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I have eleven mana. Eleven minus three is eight. So you know I could do Gadwick for eight, which would be ideal. I think I'm gonna Gadwick for five to play around Mystical Dispute.
you know, that did just take a, um, I have less than nine minutes. Dang. Did just take an ancestral recall away from us. They're low on time also. It's been a long match. Yeah, I don't I don't know how long Deckmaster will take. It's I mean Deckmaster, like the thing for like the program here, it's just you know, it's just owned by one guy as far as I know. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. I, don't know, I guess you add more mana. Just you just add some mana. Six. Um, then we'll do like this five, six. So that's twelve. And then I, if I do twelve, I still have one, two, three, four, five, six mana. We'll do we'll do X is twelve. We'll have four left. Hey, Phoenix survived. Yeah, JPC got... Yeah, there you go. Yeah. There you go. Uh, let's see. Let's play this. Let's play this. So we're at 15 cards in library right now. Yes, I have I have two Thassa's Oracles in the deck. I need one to resolve to win. Let's try this. They get rid of all of my Jaces. They did get rid of all of my Jaces. So I need a Thassa's Oracle to resolve. They don't. They're only at three cards in library, or three cards in hand. <laughs> oh wait, what? Wrong castle. Whoops. Oh, well, good thing I have, like, infinite mana.
<clears throat> Activate the wrong castle, still cast a crisis for six and a crisis for five and a three drop. <laughs> How many Teferis have they gone through? One, two, three. This is the last Teferi. Alright, can we get this Teferi off the battlefield? Oh, I should have played a bunch of lands because of my Dryads first. Should have played a bunch of lands first. All right, so they have two cards. Um, I think we can wait till next turn. Try to kill the Teferi again. Thanks, Shadows Fall. Um... Can't play instance, remember, so we're doing this all main phase. All right, that's good enough. So they have to with those three cards, they have to have a sweeper plus two counter spells. I've got time. I hope they play a land. They're certainly acting like they have a sweeper because they didn't activate castle. Arnvale, they didn't activate either castle. Kill the Teferi. I just want to play Intense. Alright, well, it's going to be difficult for them to have a Sweeper and two Counter Spells now. Alright, no Sweeper. Alright, so we should have this. We got Triple Negate backup. And we have a backup Thassa's Oracle. There we go, Thassa's Oracle. Trigger. Um, we'll just keep the Gadwick on top. We win the game. Woo! Victory. Three and one. The Oracle do, uh, it scries X where X is your devotion to blue when it enters. And if that X number is greater than the number of cards in your library, you win the game. And so we had seven devotion to blue. We had less than seven. We had four cards in library, so we just won. That was a long match.
Um, I like all these cards. I think it's either Jace or Gadwick. I think we need to keep all the lands. It's probably Jace. Because we can, we can just like have Gadwick be Divination Gadwick at 5 mana. Turn 4 after an Uro. Turn 3. I don't think we need Root Snare this early. It's like a late game thing. I'll take a backup Gadwick. Probably gonna need to draw more than two cards. Hey, there you go. Thanks, Donor Leisure. This one's for Hawkeye. Aw, thank you so much. He's hanging out somewhere. I'm not sure where. Right now. Oh, did he go in here? You in there, Hawkeye? Meow. Yeah, there you are. Why don't you trap yourself in the closet? No, Hawkeye is not doing better. I took him into the vet today just to get... Because his appointment's tomorrow, where they're going to put him under and, you know, really look at, like, his blood work and everything and just try to really figure out what's going wrong, like, what, you know, why he's not doing better than what he is. Um, but I took him into the vet today. Let's shuffle this up, because I kind of want to mind draw on that Jace. Anyway, just to give him fluids and B vitamins. So he just needed those because he just hasn't been eating or drinking. Hey there, buddy. You're so skinny. Oh my gosh, you're just skin and bones. Oh, he hates. Yeah, he's a he's a big scaredy cat. So yeah, he hates car rides. He's a big time scaredy cat. So the Jace just dies. But it also it also just gains it, you know, like gains six life. Always an answer. Yes, yeah, so it's four mana. Gain six life. Also fill the graveyard for me to get back Uro. No, I haven't. No, we haven't done anything with this. The new blooper nose yet. I guess it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter what you tap with, Dryad. If they would have upkeep, they could have Pelucranos fought the 6-6 six, six and have the Pelucranos die. And then and then whenever the Elspeth conquers Death Trigger, could have brought back the Pelucranos. They could have just saved that Mortify. It would have just done the same thing. But then they would not be able to attack with the Pelucranos this turn, though.
we discarding? I discard two cards? Yuck. Yeah, so the Root Snare doesn't work with Questing Beast, of course. <clears throat> we need to tab it down with Grow Spiral. Oh, it doesn't even matter. I'm shuffling anyway. <laughs> it doesn't even matter. Okay. Well, if I just play a huge crisis, how much life am I going to? So 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 12, so gain 6, go to 9. Do I got... Oh, I should probably do some Uro stuff, actually. Yeah, this is just safer. Um... Keep you, Grow Spiral. We'll get rid of Jace. And keep that Grow Spiral to get back with Cameo. So I can have an instant speed card for Gadwick. Alright, so we still have four mana. going on here? Oh, so 10, so I need 8. Wow. There, no lands here. Okay. Uh, discard Root Snare, discard Kraken, and Jace. Yeah, the fog's not good against the questing beast. But that's the thing, like if we can tap down the questing beast with Gadwick, then we can root snare other attackers. That could be something that we'd ha that we could do. I don't know. This isn't your average zombie horde. Impressive, isn't it? Well, I'll take this. Death. I've learned much from your death. Let's reduce the battle to shambles. Oh, you're right. 
Mm. That just always happens. Never mind. The, the whole tap questing beast and then have root snare work. That's not really a plan, is it? So I want to crack Fable Passage. Six, seven, eight. Like, do we I'm trying to think if, if we have other basics? Nine. Yeah, we do have another basic. Yeah, we have other basics. Yeah, it's true. I don't have a timeout. Gotta play kind of quickly. All right, discard, spiral, snare. Spiral, snare, snare. Uh, don't have a blue finale because uh, we're not trying to reshuffle everything back into our deck because we're trying to win by milling ourselves out. So nice of you to join us, okay? <laughs> Good help is easy to find in war. Killing the non-giants. We got an elder giant. Okay. Ten cards left. I'm sure we can get to ten devotion, right? So this has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it shouldn't be that that difficult, right? All right, let's start with this thing. That makes it easier. Let's get that thing out here. Just basically assuming we have infinite mana, we can cast whatever we want to. Want to. Like the phases of the moon, life waxes and wanes. The storied past. Holds our future. No, decline, decline, and now Oracle. Devotion is eleven. We only have less than that in deck. Yeah, that's that's the the vet that I'm going to is is just is one that's specifically for cats. Like that's what's called veterinarians for cats. That's all they do is cats. Um, so hopefully, hopefully they can figure it out. But they haven't been able to figure it out so far. But the, what they thought was the problem with his teeth, that was not just the problem. So yeah, hopefully we can figure it out tomorrow. All right, so they're playing like, so we got Abzan stuff. They're not really a that fast of a deck, that aggro of a deck. 
Maybe we just play Ether Gust instead of Snares. We know Snares not good against Beast. And play Hydra. They can help out also. I feel like the Tamiyo is unnecessary. It was the kidneys. Yeah, I mean, the last time they tested Hawkeye, whenever they did the, the teeth pulling, they said all the blood work came back really good, that, that, nothing, that nothing was wrong with him, that he was a healthy cat. But that obviously just hasn't been the case. That was a few weeks ago. Yeah, Questing Beast has has a clause that says that combat damage can't be prevented. And that's the point of Root Snare is to prevent the combat damage. This is going to be like a three-hour league. <laughs> we're in match number five. We're two hours. We're almost at two and a half hours into this. Man, they're the ramp deck now. I'm going to hopefully have Voracious Hydra trade with Storov, but against an Abzan deck, they probably have removal. This isn't a, isn't a sure thing or anything like that. I'd love for this to happen. Cool. Let's take that. It's fine. Um, let's get Jace going. Ether Gust Jace is, is a great combo, of course, because you you Ether Gust put the st the spell back on top, and they they put it back on top of their library, and then you mill it over with Jace. So that's a combo. We'll do that like next turn though. And shine. Hmm. 
Liliana is going to be a problem. Problem not exactly sure how I want to deal with yet. This is my best way to pressure the Liliana. Darn, I really wanted to hit a land drop. Obviously, we have. We can spend, you know, just so much mana. All we, all we need right now are land drops. I want them to, like... Basically, I don't want Liliana to ultimate. So, like, minus four is not the worst thing, because that's going to make it really hard for the Liliana to ultimate. They were allowed to Waste not, want not. That's supposed to hurt. We need more lands. No dryad yet. Search your library for five land cards, reveal them, and put them into your hand. Okay. Cool card. Uh, I mean, Hydra Crisis was a flyer, a 4 4 flyer with Trample. Land? Not a land. I guess I should have omened to the sea first, shouldn't I? If I would have put the land in, in my hand. Yeah, that was that was bad sequencing by me. I should omen first and then Yeah, that was bad sequencing. Yeah, they got to thin the deck, take out five lands, and they just get all these temples. They're now scrying with. Rise. Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you so much, there, Cobb. Sub number 44 on the day. I appreciate you. So thanks for resum for an entire year now. All right, let's get new new lands. Omen. Hydra passage passage Gadwick. Well, more land drops. Manipulation. 
We're getting rid of so many cards. We're down to 22. Getting lots of land drops in now. That was a good turn. That was not a good play, but that was not a good Liliana play. They don't get to draw the cards because Liliana's off the battlefield. Unless they have like another Liliana that they're playing. Joseph! Thank you so much. I really hope Hawkeye gets better as well. Yeah, tomorrow's going to be a real important day. Taking him right away, you know, 8 a.m. Let's try this. More land drops, please. Dryad's good. That gets us more land drops. Discard two cards. We'll discard Voracious Hydra and Krasis. The Gadwicks. We'll probably be able to win this the next turn. Yeah, we should be. Should be able to. Uh, Hawkeye is... He's about 12. It's a matter of give and take. So I guess it's really just about... Um, we're at 10 cards in library. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Just do like two. It's really if they have removal spells. Oh, no! Ah. There we go. Good game. This deck takes so long to play. <laughs> so many decisions. Let's tap the Fable Passages. Alright, Oracle. And if that's not GG, we got a backup Oracle. Looks like it is. Another Thassa's Oracle win. In the books. And we're four and one. This is one of the slowest decks I've ever played. Because <laughs> we are just trying to draw every single card in our deck, and then we win after doing that. And we've got a game three like these matches. Three games of that is tough. Ugh, i got to get a good stretch in here before the final boss. All right, final boss time. Let's go. Oh, where's, where's the playlist? All right, pouring some water. Been drinking enough water. 
Mm. Oh, yeah. Sorry, J. Jack. You want to eat my water, Hawkeye? No? I say you could drink it. That'd be good. You can drink some water. I got another cup of water right here for you. Got some of that water? No. It's like you refuse to use your tongue. Oh, it's on me. Yeah, that's how I sneeze in. Espa. This was our loss before. I'm pretty sure, right? We have just played like mono control decks. We have not played against any aggro. That's why this league's taking so long. Just trying to outgrind control decks by drawing all of our cards. Hmm. Thank you so much, Smoif. Take Jace. Number forty seven. Milling us, milling us is going to help out this Uro. Ugh, stop. I have an answer to everything. Oh, whoops. My foot kind of slipped. Wait, can we not? Oh, we still can't... Still can't cast Uro yet? Sorry, my foot slipped. So, yes, I want to draw the Gadwick. I don't want them to thought erasure away Gadwick though. So I'm going to do this kind of tricky thing. I could have I could have also just like Fabled Passage and then Castor Oaks, then I would have five. But that would shuffle away the Gadwick. Darn. I was really hoping they were going to Thought Razor that turn. So they probably don't have another Thought Razor. Let's just go for the Uro first. I should just play Gadwick. They're not going to have a counter spell for Gadwick. I should just play the Gadwick. There's a There's a better chance that like next turn they have absorb. Like absorb is going to be their counter spell. They didn't have absorb up. I thought they had absorb up for a little, you know, like whenever I was just kind of making my decision and realized they they don't have absorb up. I should have played Gadwick. All 
All right, cool. Pounding heart, racing mind, render them to me. It's probably a waste. I don't know, these are reasonable cards. Hey, even better. Six, seven. Um. No, I should discard Kraken. I don't know. I'm. <laughs> These decisions are tough. I'm like... Because, yeah, because maybe we need, like, the extra land drops with the Dryad. This should hopefully help us pull ahead. Danger zone. Ashok's just going to help mill us out. We're at 28 cards in the library. <clears throat> the shadows awaken. Um, nah. That's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's good enough. I don't know, I guess I could attack with like the Nadir Kraken, see if they if they block with the two three. I guess I should have attacked, because they block with two threes that just exile some cards, helps us out. Alright, so it's a lot easier when they don't have hero. And don't have Teferi. Don't have those two cards. Life's easier. We have not we've not played against aggro. These root snares have just not been anything we've wanted. Just all slow decks over and over. Um It's probably too many counters like do I need like negate and dispute? I think I want Hydra because I think we need to kill Hero. Uro was pretty sweet there.
Let's play just some disputes. Yeah, yeah, our, our, I do like our, our low curve also. Yeah, like we have like our low curve, to, so we're pretty consistent, but then we just have like the X spells that we can just mix and match and, you know, use whatever we want for the X. Oh, awesome, Sir Gajo. Glad you're liking Demir the Demir Reanimator deck. Ugh. I need green mana. This is kind of rough. All right, well, at least the game that we were not competitive at all, at least they that was the game they had the double hero of Precinct 1, right? So they're not going to have a double hero of Precinct 1 again. Right? That makes sense. Yeah, they're not going to double hero Precinct 1 again. Ugh. Where's our lands? I mean, we may, may as well keep that card. It's just upside. Unless they go, like, Thought Erasure this turn that I have to dispute. And then I don't get to play something else, but I, no, I mean, it's just, it's just upside. Gross. 27 lands in our deck. 27. Two games in a row where we do not have any lands. Are you kidding me? Uh, and they have double hero again? <laughs> They have double hero again. I don't, I mean, I, my best play is Voracious Hydra, but if they just have, like, Tyrant Scorn, playing Voracious Hydra is really rough. So looking for another land that maybe we could have. All right, well I guess I should have shocked Let's for that. Slow this down. Oh, I've done but now we get to kill the he kill a hero. Hey, light side. Welcome back, and thanks for all the great content. Well, thank you so much. 
Trust me, I have a plan. Yeah, so they had the Tyrant Scorn. Thought they did. You take my mystical dispute I can't cast anyway. Put that in the graveyard for my Uro. And Orion, a brand new Twitch Prime sub. Welcome, Ryan76309. Gets us to number 49. <clears throat> um... Should get double blocker in play. Could smith zero. Just put them both down to the bottom. If that was a regular land, I would keep it. But I don't want to shock land. This might be a bad idea. Right on schedule. Don't worry, I got this. Uh, Drock Hill. Two months out of 12. There you go. Thank you so much. All right, second month there. That gets us our 50th sub of the day. What a crazy, awesome day. Thank you all. Um, so, yeah, how are we going to survive this? So, I think it's could be casting Uro, gain three life. I mean, we could just play Krasis to gain two life. I guess it's better just to. Cast Crisis gain two. Yeah, I could go Gadwick zero Dryad. Um, the way to play Uro last turn would have been Crisis for zero and then play Uro. Here goes nothing. That's. A little silly, though. Trust me. You'll thank me later. I'll protect you. Fable Passage was a great draw. So I was planning on playing Kraken, but now Hydra, I could just kill a 1-1 one -one with the Hydra. Make it a little safer. It's not, I'm not playing Gadwick for zero. It's either, it's either Kraken or Dryad, or sorry, Kraken or Hydra. Um, I'll play Kraken. Yeah, I mean it's obviously playing killing Hero Precinct One is the is the best play that we could do, but it's it's the best way to survive this next turn was playing Voracious Let's Hydra. This. So this was a a little bit greedier. So this was my best card to have me survive. That Fable Passage draw was perfect. Uh, 
Uh, that was that was from uh, Final Fantasy. That was one. That one was from Final Fantasy VII, I think. Or no, that one was ten. That just played. Final Fantasy ten. All right, Firestorm. See ya. Darn. So hoping they would take the Mortify. I guess I, I should have just split it up the other way. I should put Tyrant Scorn as the one and then Mortify as the other one. Because this lets them play the Tyrant Scorn right now. So I should have put the, the three drop with the land. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine. Really hoping to draw land there. The extra life could just be so important. <clears throat> I was dead to two removal spells if I play Gadwick. Now we're dead to three removal. You know, now they have to have three removal spells. But still, Uro, you know, gains three life when it attacks. Like, it's better than just blocking one thing. So it's just worth it to attack with Uro. Get my own little Kraken army. Damn, we can't draw that last land.
Not kill my Kraken. We are starting to turn the corner. It's a little bit. That's a lot of 1-1s one they got over there, though. All right, now they get two white mana. They haven't had two white mana this game. Let's see what they got for two white mana. Elspeth conquers death. Makes sense. There goes Uro. In exile. More one ones, please. They're at ten. Well then. Guess we need to be attacking. Hmm. Okay, we got it, we did it, we did it, three hours and four minutes and 40 seconds later, we did it. Our loss was, I think, was also to Esper here. I think that was our loss. So, like, Teferi was, like, the main reason why we were losing games. Um, so, yeah, I didn't have a great answer to Teferi. But besides that, we felt really strong against, you know, everything else. Like, we were just out grinding the control decks. So much card draw. Maybe it was blue-white control that we lost to. Oh, actually, it was, it was I think it was blue-white that we lost to. We beat the Esper decks. Um, yeah, let's go grab a pack. Let's get two packs again. I like to stay or at least stay around 5,000 gold. So, yeah, we're back at 5,000 gold, basically. Let's see if we get any mythics. Not a mythic. Boo. <clears throat> but yes, yeah, so there's Simic Turbo Fog. Um, again, so like the, this deck was designed to. Um, we beat uh, Esper Hero. This deck is you know designed to like put together a deck that can win that has Jace. They can win with like Jace and Thassa's Oracle, and we did that a lot. You know, quite a bit. We were just winning with Thassa's Oracle. Made it a lot easier whenever we drew all those cards. To actually finish games out where the opponents were at, you know, like 30 life a lot of the time. And, um, you know, we just did that. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, if you have a, another deck that you have that uh, wins with Jace and Thassa's Oracle that you like, you know, throw it down in the comments. Put it in there. Um, let me know what you're doing with those two cards. But this one works pretty well. If you like, if you like just playing lots of lands, drawing lots of cards, and then just eventually winning because, you know, kind of by... Um, you know, kind of by default is just like, all right, well, you just kind of win. Basically, if you if you like commander, this is this is like commander and standard. Basically, I think that's what we'll title the YouTube video. This is basically playing commander and standard. Um, because yeah, you just you just sit around and ramp and draw lots of cards, and then eventually, then the game just kind of ends. And that's that's what happens. All right, so there we go. All right, y'all on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And uh, yeah, like I said, leave those comments. So thank you so much for watching some Simic Turbo Fog, and I'll see you for the next video.